Welcome to Toulon Naval Base, where the nuclear-powered attack submarine Emerald and the support vessel Sen just came back from a long-duration deployment that took them all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Good morning, can you please introduce yourself? So I'm Commander Antoine Delaveau. I was in charge of the first part of the deployment uh, Marianne, which was a mission which uh, conducted uh, our submarine to Guam last December. Commander, what were the objectives of this mission? The objective of this uh, mission was uh, firstly to develop our uh, knowledge of uh, this uh, theater of operation, which is uh, both Pacific and Indian uh, Ocean, which uh, we, we call Indopac, and uh, also to develop our relationship with uh, our allies, such as uh, uh, the US Navy and the Australian Navy, and so to be able to uh, conduct uh, in the future uh, more uh, frequent operations of this kind of submarines. You mentioned the uh, US Navy and the Royal Australian Navy. Which other navies did you exercise with in the area? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it was only uh, Australian and uh, US Navy, but uh, my uh, um, shipmate uh, of the other crew uh, uh, conducted uh, also uh, exercises with uh, Indonesian and Japanese uh, Navy. And did you exercise both with surface vessels and submarines? Yes, uh, uh, for instance, with uh, the Australian uh, submarines, we conducted uh, a three days uh, interaction, which was very interesting to develop our knowledge of uh, this kind of submarines, which uh, we had uh, not been exercising with uh, from uh, about 20 years. And uh, we also uh, exercised with uh, different kind of uh, surface ships of the US Navy, such as uh, uh, a uh, US submarine which uh, also was based in Guam. Uh, French uh, Defense Minister Florence Parly announced that uh, the submarine transited uh, the South China Sea. Uh, what were the objectives? Did you remain uh, stealthy underwater, uh, trying to remain undetected? Or on the contrary, did you try to show the flag to make sure that other navies in the area show, saw that there was a French presence? So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I was not in charge of the road for the, this uh, period of the navigation. But uh, as I read in the newspapers, uh, my, uh, the other crew sailed with a submarine uh, quite stealthily and then uh, surfaced just for the sound uh, straight and to be able to, uh, to sail uh, freely uh, as uh, the navigation uh, uh, treaties allow to, to do it with uh, uh, an escort of uh, French surface vessels. Uh, speaking of which, uh, what was the role of uh, the support vessel Sen? Yeah, it was a very uh, crucial, uh, essential uh, ship for us so, uh, since uh, it was uh, carrying more than 900 supply parts for our submarines. So it helped us to, uh, to go to sail across the, the Suez Channel. And then it was uh, uh, with us uh, able to deliver some. Uh, so, uh, spare parts uh, in the different uh, port of calls we, we joined, such as uh, Djibouti, uh, Perth in Australia and Guam. And of course, it helped a lot uh, for us for the, the crew change uh, in early December in Guam. Is there anything else you would like to share regarding this uh, unprecedented uh, mission? So I think it was a very wonderful uh, experience for my crew and of course for the other crew. So I hope in the future we will uh, Hello, other submariners to, to sail again in this part of the world. Commander, thank you very much. Thank you.